What is up guys? It's another beautiful day in St. Lucia. Today I'm gonna be recording another video, just walking over to my car. We're gonna be installing a boost solenoid on the car and we hope to turn up the boost. Stay tuned. Okay, and now we're in the Honda. What we have here is a Mac boost solenoid. Simple solenoid available online, two wires. Um, one gets 12 volts and the other one gets the signal from your boost controller or your ECU, whatever you're using to control this valve. Three port solenoid. So we have from here one, one, two, three at the front. Right? According to the diagram here, one to two. So air to air is normally closed. And then when you energize the solenoid it opens it. Two to three is normally open so without the solenoid being energized it's open we're going to be using two to three now we're going to use the hair as a bleed so basically hair to hair we're going to put it in line with our the bottom part on the external wastegate and we're going to use that to control this there are many ways to plumb this solenoid to achieve the same results but this is how we're going to do it um see i have one more thing to show you guys Please don't buy this guys. This is a cheap eBay $5 boost controller, manual boost controller. Makes for very erratic boost control. Don't use this. Spend a couple extra dollars and get a boost all online. If you're easy, you can do electronic boost control of us. Um, it'll save you a lot of tuning headaches and make for a nicer car to drive around. So I'll move over to the engine bay and then we're going to show you how. I'm going to show you how I plan this to my car. Okay, so like I said, this is how we have the boost solenoid plumbed. We have a nipple going in on port 2 and port 3, and we put the vent on port 1. We throw a thread tip on the threads and use a 10 millimeter wrench to tighten it up. Right, next up, we have my wastegate here. Bottom part of the wastegate goes to a vacuum port on my intake manifold. Or you can run it on the turbo, it doesn't matter. I prefer using the the pots on the intake manifold because it gives the wastegate a true reference as to what boost is actually in the intake manifold. Because mm -hmm. um, you have some losses as the boost goes through your um, through your intercooler system. So what we're we going to do? Basically, somewhere along those line, along this line you basically going to cut this up and fit the solenoid in between. I'm going to tie strap it here for now. Um, on this brake booster line, I think this is. Yes, the brake booster line. <coughs> Sorry. Tie strap it here. Um, I use a stock harness, so I wanna, I'm going to use the pin. What I wired my boost controller pin. Sorry. I wired my boost controller output to my map sensor pin to my ECU. Since I'm using the stock harness, I'm just basically reusing the stock wires on the harness for outputs. I won't be using the map sensor since Speedwino has its own onboard map sensor. So we'll go do this and then we'll pick up with some more progress. Okay, and some more progress. So we use the line coming from the um, intake manifold, the pressure source. Put it to port two and the line going to the bottom of the intake manifold the wastegate sorry we put it on port three right so it should be normally open so with the solenoid off we should we should still see wastegate pressure um, with the solenoid energized it'll basically be bleeding through here and then the more duty cycle you input into your boost control table the more boost you'll run Next up, final step, we need to wire these two wires. One goes to 12 volts and the other one goes to the output from the ECU. Okay, and we have the semi-finished product. One wire going down to the map sensor and the other one going to the battery. Ideally, this should be on some sort of flange and probably hard mounted to the 
firewall and the wire going to the battery should be fused I don't have an inline fuse holder for now so this will suffice until I get an inline fuse holder and gonna put maybe a 3 or 5 amp fuse in line but yeah pretty simple next step we're gonna go into the Speedway no, um, oh, sorry the Tuner Studio software and then we're gonna configure it for the solenoid okay, and now we have the Speedway no tuning software Tuner Studio open hopefully the glare is not too bad and you guys can see I really need to start using some screen capture software okay so we're gonna need to configure Speedway no for hold on there can see the glaze pretty bad better yeah okay so on the accessories we go boost control ensure boost control is on and we're going to be doing open loop boost control boost output pin is going to be kept to the board default and i'm using 32 hertz frequency some folks say they have luck with 30 some say they have with 32 but um, I find, well, we're not going to go actually into the science of frequency, but 32 usually gives you better control than the 30. But you can experiment. Um, down here, you would have already had this, but you need to set your boost cut. You can set it to fuel, spark, or both. I usually do both. And I have it set to 190 kPa, which is roughly about 13 or 14 psi. Yes, so with all of that, you may need to cycle your board on and off, right? And to test this out, we're going to go into the boost target tables. Um, yes, so we have the mode set to open loop. Um, quick answer is open loop is basically just set in duty cycle and it's fixed to whatever you set it to. You basically set in a fixed bleed. Um, Speedwino has a, I think this is a 8x8 eight eight table. Where you set your frequency based on throttle so you have throttle on the y-axis and rpm so you can have it target different duty cycles you need to experiment to find out what duty cycle gives you the target boost that you want from previous experience i know what exactly is going to work for mine um, this will go into in a later video as to why i have the higher numbers here but to start off with you can just set everything to like 50 kpa um, 50% duty cycle, sorry, and then just do a pull and then you go into know where your boost is and then you can adjust from there, you can go high, go low down here, a good way to do it is to turn your ignition on and enter zero here, but speed owner doesn't allow you to set for zero, so we're gonna set this to something really low like here we're gonna do maybe 300 RPMs right and then in that we're gonna enter 50% duty cycle and it's gonna interpolate it, so we do 50 here so the camera cut out again yeah so we're gonna start the car and basically I idle somewhere around 800 to 1000 rpm so we should have a 50% duty cycle being fed to the solenoid and that would be a good way to know that your solenoid is actually working so we're gonna do that and we're gonna pick up in a bit Okay, so the car is running about 700 RPM. You may not be able to pick it up on the camera, but I can hear the solenoid being pulsed. Let's go to the engine bay and we'll hopefully get a clip of that. Um, hopefully you guys can hear that. Yep, you can see the valve moving. So the solenoid works. Back in the car. Um, so I adjusted the table a bit. Um, we have 30s all over the table. 30% um, duty cycle will be a good starting point for most folks. These valves have an operating range from about 15 to 85%. So 30 should give you just a little increase in boost and it will be safe to start off with. Um, I'm going to start off with this. Um, like anything else, it's a new solenoid, you never know. So we're going to try this out in a later video. We're going to see what we get and then from here we're going to up it. And then I'm going to show you a few tricks. Um, how I get my boost to come in a bit earlier and how I get boost to to basically behave the way I want yeah uh, so I forgot to explain this table um, this is RPM at the bottom and throttle here so you set this to whatever you need it to if you have it spiking maybe higher RPMs you can drop 
duty cycle down so boost can be tamed a bit um, but you just take some playing around with and you guys get it well hope this was informative hope it was fun sure fun for me um leave a comment don't forget to subscribe like share and we'll pick up on the next one so stay safe guys